Hello once again and welcome to another video on this awful channel. So, today we'll be fixing my error from a past video which was installing a Raspberry and with a desktop user interface or graphical user interface on my Raspberry Pi. So today we'll be doing the opposite. We'll be installing um, the system without a desktop or a graphical user interface. So what we need? A Raspberry Pi, some storage, which can be a SD card, a flash drive, an SSD or hard disk drive and power. So. Let's begin with flashing the system. First, I'll open up Firefox to search the flashing tool. So, you can search Raspberry Pi Imager, then download for your OS, I'll download for Windows, and let's open the installer. Yes, install. Okay, let's click finish. Great. Now, let's connect our storage i would recommend disconnecting any other drive that you may have connected to your computer because you may erase it by error so yeah disconnect anything else besides the main storage that you'll use for the raspberry so in the new version of the flashing tool they added a device uh, menu so now you can select your device to filter the options it for in my case it's a raspberry pi 4 and now let's uh, install an os without the desktop environment so la raspberry pi os and okay light is there no okay there is no light option here so I'll install the Raspberry Pi OS Lite, 64 bits. You can also install the 32 bits. Um, but I'll go with the, with this one. Okay, with no this desktop environment. Now let's select our storage. For me, it will be this USB and click next. Would you like to apply OS customization settings? Edit settings. Now let's set a host name. I'll leave it as Raspberry Pi. Username and password. You can set it up now so you don't have to do it later. Just don't forget your password. Now you can also set up your Wi-Fi. Also you will need, if you set up your Wi-Fi here, you'll need to select your region. For me, it will be ES, Spain. And you can set up your locale. So that will be your time zone and keyboard layout. In services, we can enable SSH and i will use just password authentication so i'll leave it as password authentication because i'm not sure if this ssh yeah i think if you use the private key authentication you will need to set up your key on each uh, device you want to uh, use to connect it uh, from it to the raspberry pi anyways in options you can click to play a sound when it's finished and i'll disable telemetry great now would you like to apply customization settings yes all existing data on your device will be erased are you sure you want to continue yes and now we'll have to wait Great, now it's installed. Something I forgot to mention before 
uh, installing the OS. If you don't have your uh, bootloader set up to boot from USB by default, you may want to go here on operating systems, uh, misc utility images, bootloader, pi4 family or and click on USB boot. You can change it up later in the on the OS using Raspberry config. So we'll take a look at that too. But if you want it uh, to boot from USB and you don't want to install some OS or if you I don't know. So if 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 you want to apply this boot from USB but an OS, just use this option, USB boot, and your Raspberry Pi will boot from USB by default. I think it boots uh, from USB anyways, but it will take a bit for it to detect that there is no storage device. So yeah, have that in mind. So now you, I'm using a flash drive, so I need to connect it to the blue ports because that's the faster ones and let me change the recording to screen capture great once it says raspberry pi login you can either uh, start by connecting to your raspberry pi uh, with ssh i'm not sure why it's just restarted that's odd Anyways, let's wait again for it to start. I guess it was updating or something. Okay, uh, I forgot what was my username. So by default it's uh, Pi and Raspberry, but I forgot it, I customized it. So yeah, now I logged in into my Raspberry Pi. You can start using SSH from this moment if you set it up in the installer but I want to but I don't know what's my Raspberry Pi's IP so I'll check on that from inside the Raspberry Pi let's write IPA okay we have the Ethernet and the wireless LAN great I will connect to the Ethernet one because it's usually faster. So let me change my capture again. I will now open a CMD and write SSH, username uh, and IP. Zero. In case you don't have SSH installed, you will need to go to settings, system, optional features and then install it from here view feature right open ssh and you will have a client option you can check if it's installed from here you can see how the client in case you are on windows 7 or older you can use an app called putty okay um yeah i think that's the official website but it won't load 82 now i'll write yes and the password great now i'll do a sudo app update and sudo apt upgrade uh minus y oh, i wrote path great anyways Mm. Right. Okay. Before moving on, let's go back a bit and do some troubleshooting you may have to do if or you want if you done everything correctly. So, let's say that you didn't enable um SSH. So, what you want to do is sudo uh, raspy config from here you can enable interface SSH uh, since I have it enabled I will click escape great 
From here you can also change other settings like your display, uh, 4K output if you want it for some reason. Uh, BNC we won't use it because uh, we don't have a, a desktop environment. So BNC won't be useful. In performance there is nothing we can change to look at utilization nothing bootloader from here you can also change the boot order so uh, USB SD card or network great also you can update the tool from here and you can also set up wi-fi from here since i did it before i don't want to repeat that also audio but we won't use that too password host name boot you can change it to boot into console and auto login if you want uh what else splash screen if you want a uh, graphical boot or text boot uh, the power led behavior we can't change it for some reason in this one and browser we can't change it too because we don't have a desktop environment great i think that's all i can say about troubleshooting so yeah, if you don't have SSH, just go to interface options and enable it. Or if you don't have an Ethernet cable and you have to go by Wi-Fi, just go to system and wireless LAN. Great. So yeah, that's all for this part. Thank you for watching. All the stuff is like commands, what music I used is in the description. See you next time.